Pokemon Alistair Fairman, whose pronouns are they, he. Sorry for the wobble, I can't feel my feet right now. <laughs> um, hello everyone, I'm Alistair, my pronouns are they, them, or he, him. Uh, I'm a non-binary trans mask, and I was here for the protest back in August, and have been uh, obviously inspired enough to come up here and talk to you. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a wonderfully big long written speech to do because I am a nervous wreck right now. <laughs> so I have a short, a short poem that I've written um, that I think anyone here who is trans and has grown up in the UK will uh, relate to. And if you're neither of those things, I hope this maybe sheds some light. If you're standing there wondering, why are they all so angry right now? Maybe this will explain some things. So I present to you all, Transness and the BBC, by myself. When growing up in the UK, you see, it's impossible to escape the BBC. It's ingrained, imprinted on cultural identity, set up from a lifetime of familiarity. For once you've learned to walk and understand, see BBs is there to guide your hand, filled with shows to guide and teach while you master the art of speech. Then once you graduate from the younger shows, CBBC instead takes its throne. A little older, wiser, easing you in to the adult world soon to begin. No clearer is this than the show News Round. News tailored to your age, robust and sound. So that when you are too old for this space, BBC News is ready to take its place. From toddler to child, the BBC is there and so therefore you think they must care. And when you arrive in the adult world, ready to move onward, ready to hurl yourself forward, yet something holds you back. An unspoken word, a hidden fact, a feeling you can ignore no longer, a feeling that keeps getting stronger. Your gender isn't what society assigned you. These pointless binaries you've broken through. And while some yell and spit and curse you out, at least you know without a doubt that those who taught you to be kind would never find themselves aligned with outdated hatred meant to divide. For they have always been your guide. And then one day, that trust is shattered. You find out that you never mattered. An article, if it can even be called, leaves you feeling angry and appalled, devoid of journalistic integrity. And while those to seek to harm cry, plausible deniability, we as the constant victims can see how hard they push this narrative link so that all the British public can think when they see a trans woman is threat. I feel this pain my sisters must endure but I also have a selfish fear. For if their gaze turns to others queer, what will they say? What will they do to turn the British public on me too? Our pain is used as pawn to weep and scaremonger and sow deceit. Our joy is hidden, dismissed and shunned while progress, while progress is stilled or at worst undone. So being trans in the UK, you now see how hurtful bigotry is from the BBC. Clashing our cultural and internal identities, making us look like horrid obscenities. Thank you very much.